Right, it's uh, it's January or whatever, and I'm losing my mind a little bit because I had a bit of a missed opportunity last night. It wasn't a bit of a missed opportunity. It was a missed opportunity. I went um, to see a taping of the show my sister is a production assistant on called Mike and Molly uh, over at Warner Brothers. And we had... Anyways, there was an opportunity for me to do stand-up in front of the studio audience and who else, whoever else is there to hear it. And I totally chickened out! And I feel really guilty and like, I mean, my dad was there with me, so I want, it would have been cool to like make him proud and either bomb or do well in front of this audience. But this audience was like, I mean, they were a studio audience. They were just begging to laugh and like to come up with my actor jokes. It would have been really fun. And I just totally like was like ready to do it. And I prepped and was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I could start with this and go to that and maybe do that. And if it's going well, go into that. And instead, I just said, I, I was, I like had that and I was like, I'm like, oh my God, I feel so nervous. And then I was like, it's okay. I can just use that energy and feel energized. And then I looked over to where they were setting the camera up. I'm like, oh, it looks like they're getting ready to go. Even though it didn't look like they were getting ready to go at all. They just looked like they were doing their jobs. And I was like, they're probably going to go right now. I shouldn't get up at this perfect opportunity. Easy. All I had to do was stand up and grab the microphone from the guy who knew that I was a comedian and uh, I'm just, as I said, I'm feeling, I'm feeling angry that I like pussed out and was a little chicken and, you know, it's like, and then of course, like part of me wants to like totally like imagine, I'm like, oh, if they would have heard me and they have this show and then they could have put me on this show and then this would have been the moment that, that I am discovered. And it's like, even like, even beyond that, because I know that that's just a concept of my mind that I'm construing and that I'm making up. Construing, is that even a word? Uh, th that's just like a fantasy that I'm making up. Even though that is true, what's also true is the fact that I was ready to go and I let the other shoulder, that little parrot, land on my shoulder and say, no, nah, you shouldn't do this right now. I let that win. And that just bothers me. And of course, I had plenty of time to sit and stew, and I had to leave my cell phone at the front desk, so I didn't, ha I didn't have any escape. I didn't have any of my s escapes. So I had to, so one thing that I came up with, because like, it was eating at me, like absolutely gnawing at the insides, like, oh, just kicking myself in the proverbial foot. Like, what can I take away from this? And, and it's like, okay, how do I, how do, and because I like, ha I, and I still have this anxiety when I think about, what I missed out on and what I didn't do. And what I've come up with is that the way not to feel these feelings of regret is to have no regrets. Well, no. That and the way not to, like, how do I deal with this feeling? Oh, I know the easy way to how to deal with this feeling. Don't chicken out. Seize the day. Carpe the frickin' frack town. Oh, man, I've gone... This is like three days' worth of videos, but, you know... Anyways, it's what I'm feeling, and... Um, it's what's happened. It's what's happening. It's what I'm dealing with, so... Uh. <laughs>